Today we're going to show you how to draw and paint your own sparkly princess dress. Yes, first of all we're starting to do the outline using a black marker pen. We're going to use straps here but you can have sleeves if you want. We're going to do some frills and we're going to layer it because we want this to be a really big princess dress. Let's do just one more layer. Swervy lines. Brilliant! Let's add some jewels on for a belt. Gorgeous! How about a bow in the middle? Yeah, we love a nice bow! Now we're going to add some flowers! Yes! What's your favourite flower? My favourite flowers are roses. I just love them. We can do different types of flowers on here if you want. Now, who do you think would like this flowery dress? Hmm, Rapunzel? Well, no, because she's just in her tower. How about Cinderella? Yes, Cinderella. She is my favourite princess. How about you? Who's your favourite princess? I know she would just love these flowers. Let's colour it in with sparkly paint. Yes, we're going to do pink straps. How about a yellow top half of the body? I'm not going to paint the flowers in yet because we can do those another colour later. Now we're going to go pink again. We love pink and princesses definitely have to have some pink on their dress, don't you think? Sparkly! Yeah! Excellent! Hmm, so I just love it when Cinderella is not a princess but then the fairy godmother comes along and makes her into a princess. It's brilliant! And she has a pumpkin for a carriage. Fantastic. But you want to be careful that the clock doesn't strike midnight because we don't want all these beautiful sparkly colours to fade away. So green gives a lovely contrast and some purple even better. You know what? Purple is my favourite colour and you can't get better than sparkly purple. Brilliant. What's your favourite colour? Me too. I like all of them. Now, how about some more yellow to match the top part? Yeah, our bottom layer of the dress to match the top. What a good idea. We're using a small brush so we don't paint the flowers by accident. And so I just love it when the prince gets that glass slipper and he puts it on Cinderella's shoe and it fits perfectly and he realises that she is the love of his life. Ah, the best fairy tale ever. Right, I think we're going to paint in our flowers. Hmm, red. Yes, red roses. Let's do every other flower. That way we can add even more colours onto our beautiful sparkly princess dress. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, let's paint the middle of the flowers differently. Yeah, blue, turquoise. I love how that stands out against the red and the pink and the yellow. Beautiful blue bow. We don't have to be all pink, you know, to be a princess. We can be rainbow coloured too. What's your favourite thing to draw? Maybe if we get some material we can try and make a princess dress like this. Wouldn't that be amazing? Do you like making things yourself? Me too! And I love drawing and painting. So what do you think? I think Cinderella is going to love her flowery princess dress. Ooh la la! Today we're going to draw a gorgeous stiletto heel shoe! Glittery and colourful, starting with heart detail. Now let's do the outline of the shoe. Pointy toe. Up we go. And back around. Now in the frame. Inside. Some stripes. And our heel. Right, time to paint. Let's start with gorgeous peach for the inside. That's our inner sole. Now, sparkly yellow. Wow, look at that. That's the inside edge. And the rim going around our heart carefully 
and our heart must of course be red. Well, you don't have to do it red, you can do it any colour you like. Purple next. We're going to paint each segment a different colour to have a gorgeous rainbow coloured stiletto heeled shoe. Green next. You could alternate two different colours, do different shades of the same colour, it really depends on what you like the best. Red looks lovely. Turquoise next. And pink. Gotta have some pink in there. Up and down, keeping inside the borders. Brilliant. Green next. And done. Time to paint our heel. Royal blue. Side to side. That was easy, wasn't it? What a wonderful shoe! I would love to have one just like that in my wardrobe, wouldn't you? Hands! Yep, that's right. We're going to give you a hand to draw a hand. You can always trace around your own hand or just draw it freestyle like this. Using a dark black pen, we're going to draw both of our hands. The right and the left. Hey, are you right-handed or left-handed? Well, I think that's really cool. Let's colour! Gonna start with glittery gold. Ooh, so nice on the left hand side. What should we do next? How about red? So we're doing long vertical sections here from the fingers down through the palm to the wrist. Next, we're gonna go for green. Whoa, look at these colours! Hey, you can even colour your hands in the colours of your flag if you wanted to be nice and patriotic. Let's go for purple. We're doing a nice multi-coloured hand because we love bright colours. Now what's left? It's the thumb. Let's go for nice royal blue for our very important thumb. Well, we couldn't do much on a phone without it, could we? Let's go to our right hand, starting with royal blue for the thumb. We like them to be matching, and why not? Did you know that there are 27 bones in the human hand? 27 bones! And the fingers contain some of the densest areas of nerve endings in your entire body. Isn't it just amazing? Green next! You got it! That's right! Now, can you remember which colour came next to green? It's red! That's right! Good job! You're almost there! We've got one more section to colour after this. And it's going to be... Gold! Gorgeous gold! All the way down from side to side, staying in between the lines... Yes, you did it! Great job! High five! Hi friends, how are you today? I hope you're very well indeed. Today we're going to show you how to draw a beautiful princess and paint her too. Ooh, how exciting! So we've drawn the hair and the face outline and now we're doing the facial features. The eyebrows, the eyes, got some lovely lashes there. And the pupils. Lovely. A little cute nose and a smiley mouth. Let's do her neck and her shoulders. Drawing a collar line for her beautiful dress. And the top part and a belt. Her arms. And hands. She's wearing beautiful gloves. Look at that gorgeous flowing hair. Nice bun too. So, time to do the rest of the dress. We're going to do some frilly layers because a princess must have frills. There, thickening up the border. That thick black border really makes the colours stand out when we paint it. 
Excellent. We're going to start with yellow. Being very, very careful, using a thin paintbrush to paint in and around the black lines so that we don't go over the eyebrows or the lashes or inside the eyes by accident. So you can use a really, really slim tip paintbrush to go around the facial features. And then for the wider bits to paint, you can use a thicker paintbrush. Beautiful. I must say, she does look very happy. Painting the neck. There, and the arms. Brilliant. Finishing touches of that colour. Now we're going to colour her hair in and it's going to be brown. Hmm, can you think of any princesses who have brown hair? Maybe a Disney character. Who can you think of? Perhaps Snow White? She was really a princess, wasn't she? Rapunzel? No, she had blonde hair, didn't she? Her hair was yellow. How about Princess Jasmine from Aladdin? Maybe the beauty from Beauty and the Beast. She was sort of a princess. Who's your favourite princess character? Lovely floaty long look. Carefully painting in between the black lines again. And if you wanted to make it really interesting, you could do different shades of brown in her hair to make it look like the light is shining off it. Little streaks of lighter brown and darker brown. You can lighten that colour by mixing it with a bit of white or mixing it with a bit of black to darken it. This is a nice, simple way to paint it. Last bit of hair there. And you can always use colouring pens or crayons or pencils if you don't fancy painting. There! Excellent! Time to do the dress! Lovely bright pink shoulder pads. Beautiful! What colour do you like? Pink gloves to match. Let's look at what colour paints we have. We have bright pink, then we have yellow, we have a lovely bright green and an orange too. So what colour shall we paint the rest of the dress? Any ideas? Let's do the belt to match the gloves and the shoulder pads. But leave the middle section out because it gives a bit of variety. We can paint the bottom section in the dress pink too. Lovely, luscious, bright pink. Wow, that is a sight for sore eyes. You can, of course, choose any colours you like, but it's quite a nice idea to match up the same colour in different parts of the costume, just like we've done here. Brilliant, good job! Let's do a green hairband. It stands out nicely against the brown hair, doesn't it? And to match, we'll do green for the top half of the dress. Keep going, you're doing a brilliant job. And you can layer on thicker paint if you want the colour to be slightly brighter or darker. You could even do patterns on your dress. Maybe some stripes or zigzags or even stars or hearts. These bright colours of her clothes really do stand out against her hair. Right, time to colour the eyes. I know, let's do blue eyes. Gorgeous. 
leaving a little speck of white in there so it looks like they're shining. And blue in the centre of the belt. Just the mouth now, just the tongue, that will be red. And there you have it, a beautiful princess. Hi friends, today we're going to draw and paint a glittering diamond. That's right, start by drawing the outline with a thick black pen. Just copy what we do step by step. This diamond is actually going to be made up of lots and lots of triangles. Different sized triangles, different lengths, different widths, but all triangles you see. Now we can paint each one in a different colour. So blue goes at the top, then pink. You can choose your favourite colours. Now each segment can be a different colour or you could alternate or do larger sections in the same colour. It's all up to you. We like to do this gorgeous rainbow effect because when we hold up our diamond in the sunlight we're going to get a prism of light where the sunshine shows all the rainbow colours. So yellow next goes in between the pink. That's right, just small strokes up and down, up and down. There, side to side. Gorgeous. What colour should we use for our larger triangles? Green, what a good idea. Side to side, carefully painting in between the black lines. Smaller strokes as you get to the bottom. Now we're going to go for red. Wow, this is already looking fantastic. Beautiful. Two more to go. Purple next. should we paint our final segment? Blue! That's right! Let's end how we started! You're doing so well! Nearly there! And done! Brilliant! You've done it! A gorgeous rainbow glittery diamond! Well done! Hey kids, do you like music? Do you like musical instruments? Well today we are going to show you how to draw and paint a glitter xylophone. You start by drawing lots of rectangles, that's right. A rectangle is where you've got two long sides and two short sides. Now in this picture each rectangle is going to be slightly shorter than the previous one. Then we're going to join them all together with a long oblong shape on either side. They look a bit like sticks. Then we're going to draw circles on either end of each of our rectangles. The rectangles are the keys and the circles are the bits that hold them down. Then we're going to draw our beaters, so some long sticks with circular ends. Ready to paint! Starting with red. We're going to paint our first rectangle, taking care to paint around our circles. Beautiful. Do you play an instrument? Which instrument do you play? Yellow next. And if you don't play an instrument, is there one that you'd really love to learn? Do you have a favourite musical instrument? I love the xylophone. I love the sound it makes. It rings in my ears. It's just beautiful. Pink next. And of course, it's always fun hitting things with beaters, isn't it? Did you know that a xylophone is in fact a percussion instrument? That's right, it comes from the percussion family, exactly where the drums come from too. Green for the next one. But this is tuned percussion, meaning you can play a tune on it. Wow, this is looking fantastic already! What colour shall we paint our last key? Purple! My favourite! How about you? What's your favourite colour? I just love the sparkly paint, don't you? There! Let's paint our 
Circle Circle Silver Three more to go And done! Right, now for the underneath Brown, because this is going to be made of wood On a xylophone, we've got a wooden body connecting it all together, and the keys, the bits that we hit with our beaters, they are made of metal. Ready for the beaters? We're going to use a lovely gold colour for the ends. What colour shall we paint the sticks? Blue! Oh, I do love a bit of blue, don't you? And there you have it a gorgeous, colourful, glittery xylophone. Go on, play us a tune! Hey kids, would you like to learn how to draw flowers? It is super easy and you can do it all different ways. Look, let's show you. First of all, you draw your centre, which is just a little circle, and then some nice oval shapes to form your petals. And there you go! That was easy, wasn't it? Let's try a different one. This time we're going to do a little cut in the middle of each petal, and they're a bit wider than the last one. There. Now for this flower, we're going to make the petals look like heart shapes. Perfect! This one has long, thin petals, just like a daisy. And we're doing a second layer as well. These petals are shorter and wider, with a lovely detail around the centre. So you can experiment with these different shaped flowers. Use your imagination and think how many different types you could draw. This one has more pointy leaves and two layers. Do you know how many different types of flowers have been found in the world so far? About 400,000! Can you believe that? All of them are different. So have fun with this, be creative and experiment with different sized and shaped petals. OK, I think we're ready to paint. Ooh, let's start with this one. Purple for the centre. Some lovely yellow petals. I have to say, this is one of my favourite colour combinations. Purple and yellow. Absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? Maybe you could name your flowers. Make up your own names. Do you know what the ten most popular flowers are? Let's tell you. We've got the rose. You all know roses, don't you? They come in all different colours. But most famous rose is a red rose. And we're going to paint this flower's petals red. Lovely. And I'll mix it up with a different colour in between because that will look very interesting. After roses, the most popular flower is the tulip. They also come in all different colours and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got the sunflower, of course. Have you ever tried to grow a sunflower from a seed? I recommend it. They're amazing. And they're yellow, just like these petals. Also very popular and a wonderful sign of the first beginnings of spring is the daffodil. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are gorgeous and they really cheer people up after a hard, cold winter. Then we've got the marigold. Again, they can come in you know, slightly different shades. And here we're doing a lovely red one with a yellow centre. You can also do different shades of the same colour. It looks beautiful. Daisies, of course, are very popular. Have you ever tried to make a daisy chain? A necklace or a bracelet or even an anklet out of daisies, making a little hole in the end of the stem and then just joining them up together to form a band. It's so much fun. The orchid is one of the most beautiful flowers ever that we love to put them in our windows on display. Carnations are also very popular. Gerberas, which come in all different colours, just like this one. And Jasmine. Jasmine has the most gorgeous smell. Let's go for yellow for the centre of this one, and some purple on the outside. 
so it's like a backwards version of our first flower, which was yellow petals and purple inside. Let's carefully paint around our detail. There! Lovely. Hmm, let's do this one yellow in the middle. We've got a big centre point in this one and some pink around that. Excellent. What colour do you think we should do our second layer of petals? Should we do it the same or a different colour? Yay, blue! What a great choice! Blue and pink go really well together, don't you think? That's looking lovely. OK, let's do the next one. So we're going to go for gold in the middle. And green around the outside. Beautiful. It's like a little sun shining in the centre of a green field. Almost there. And we're done. Excellent. Last but not least, let's do our long petaled flower. Green in the middle this time and pink petals. This one does look a bit like a daisy, doesn't it? It's just a different colour. Imagine if we had pink daisies, wouldn't that be wonderful? Flowers are just amazing and you can have loads of fun with this designing your own, even making up your own names. There you go. Now let's see them close up. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Let's see another. Oh, look at that. Those colours are just wonderful. Oh, I'm feeling like summer is here already with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers really brighten up your day, don't you think? So if you haven't already done so, I recommend you get some seeds and plant them in your garden if you have a garden. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just plant them in some lovely pots. Do be sure to keep them in the sunshine and make sure you water them daily as well because flowers need sunshine and water to grow. You'll be so excited when you see those little green leaves sprouting up from the mud. Now, which one is your favourite? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I just love them all. Well done. You did a fantastic job drawing and painting these gorgeous glitter flowers. Hey kids, fancy painting your toenails? What colour shall we do? Red, yellow, purple, green and pink. Oh, I love it. Rainbow toenails. So we start by drawing the outline of the toes. You can even draw around your own feet if you like. And then just get smaller and smaller in size with the nails at the end and little creases. Time to do the nail varnish pot with a little love heart decoration. And of course, let's not forget the lid with the brush. Some stripes and ready to paint. OK, we're going for red for our first toenail. That's our big toe. Yellow for the second. Do you remember the colour of the third? Yep, that's right, it was purple. And then green. Well remembered. How about the last one? Pink for the baby toe. Well done. Peach colour for the toes themselves. Keeping in between the black lines. You see, we've used a nice thick black marker pen to draw our foot. Using a small paintbrush will make it easier to stay in between the lines. Side to side, side to side, filling it all in. Brilliant, you're doing a great job. Do you ever paint your toenails? Or fingernails for that matter? I love painting mine. I really like sparkly colours the most. And we are done! Ready to do the nail varnish pot. Pink for the lid. And a lovely blue for the stem. With some red varnish on the end. Purple for a couple of the stripes. It's with a green one in between. We like variety. Let's go for yellow for the main part of our nail varnish pot. Excellent. And what colour should we do the heart? Red. I was thinking exactly the same. And there you have it. Let's paint again. It's so satisfying. Red. Yellow. Purple. Green. 
and pink. Yay! Well done! Hi kids! Look at this gorgeous rainbow heart! Do you fancy having a go at drawing and painting it? Oh, you do? We'll start with the baby one in the middle and then we just do bigger ones around the outside getting bigger and bigger and bigger and one more there! Ready to darken the border! We like a nice, bold, thick black colour because it really makes the colour stand out! Ready to paint? Start with red for the outside! You can use any colours you like, of course! Even different shades of the same colour would look fantastic! Perhaps you could start with the darkest on the outside and get lighter as you go into the middle! We're going to go for a lovely gold-orange colour next! There, just following the shape around, staying in between the black lines. Let's go for yellow now. You see how we're getting lighter? Maybe we should change the pattern now. What do you think? Yeah, let's go for green. Green and yellow, those lovely citrusy colours. Followed by blue. And last but not least, purple for our baby heart in the middle. There, it's perfect, don't you think? I just love it. What a gorgeous, vibrant, sparkly rainbow heart. Hey kids, look at this beauty. Isn't he gorgeous? Let's draw him. A beak and the neckline, the body. The wing, the legs and feet, and the glorious tail. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Take a guess. That's right, it's a peacock. Look at that amazing display. Some lines down the middle of each feather little bit of detail here on the head ready to paint okay we're going for gold first of all that's for the beak next we'll go for green oh and some blue yes our peacock body is going to be blue but of course you can choose any color you like really it's your picture so you can be creative and the wing Brilliant! Going for brown for the legs and the feet. And yellow now for our middle feather. Carefully painting around the black lines, leaving that teardrop shape. There you go. And pink. Ooh, I love this colour next to the yellow. Gorgeous. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Me too. I'm doing the same either side of the yellow because I think it really makes it stand out. It's called symmetry when it's identical, exactly the same on each side. Green for the next one. Lovely! Other side too. Yellow, pink, green, Hmm, what colour shall we do the last feather? Red! What a great idea! I was thinking exactly the same! Strokes from side to side, one half at a time. Excellent! Ooh, we're almost there! And around the teardrop shape. Going for pink for our first teardrop. Then how about yellow? Yes, it's like a backwards version of the first feather. And some red. Lovely. Other side. So how about green for the last one? Brilliant. I just love it. And you're done. Amazing! Look at that beautiful display! The peacock is truly wonderful! Hey 
kids! How are you today? Ooh, fancy some cotton candy? Me too! Starting with the cotton candy squiggly lines. They kind of look like clouds layered one on top of the other. We're doing four layers and the cone, which is like an upside down triangle with stripes on it. And two circles for the eyes and a smile. Going for another one. This one's a bit more curvy. And we're just going to darken up the borders. Make the colour stand out then when we paint it. Wonderful! Let's go! Starting with a light blue for the top cotton candy. And pink next. I have to say I love these two colours side by side. Blue and pink. What do you think? Yellow next. An excellent choice going around the eyes. Wow, look at it sparkle. A gold for the bottom layer. Hmm, interesting. Around the smile. Pink mouth. And stripey cone. Every other stripe can be purple and the rest can be yellow. Hmm, let's go for pink cotton candy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's do it all one colour this time. You could even do patterns on yours if you wanted. Hmm, a red mouth. And some yellow stripes, alternating with purple just like the other one, but the other way around. And there you have it, two cute cotton candies. Ah. Hey kids, would you like to draw and paint a baby stroller? Oh, that would be so cute. Okay, we are doing the bottom part and we've got two wheels, so that's a big circle, a smaller one inside it, an even smaller one in the middle, and then the spokes. Two of those. So we're doing the same again. Perfect, well done. Then we're going to do the hood with a little bit of a frill on the edge. Some detail and the handle and a heart. How about the baby's hands reaching out for a hug? blackening up the border. It really makes our colour stand out once we paint it. Right, ready to paint. Let's go for pale pink for the baby's hands. Kind of peachy pink. Oh, okay, green for the frills. Let's do every other segment green and pink in between. Wow, that is vibrant, don't you think? You can do yours any colour you like, of course. I'm going for blue next for the rim of the pram. And some brown for the handle. How about a dark brown on the end? Brilliant. And yellow for the main part, painting around my love heart. I love the colours yellow and blue next to each other. They look really cool. That's it. OK, red for my love heart, of course but you can be as creative as you like. Going for dark brown for the tires. And yellow in the middle. How about purple in between every other spoke? And let's go for green next to the purple. That is cool and it matches the hood. Yes, same again on the other wheel. So dark brown on the outside. Yellow in the middle and then purple and green alternating. Wow, that looks so cool. Baby stroller, baby stroller, where are you? Here I am, here I am, green, purple too. Yay, that looks amazing. Well done, you did a great job. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art.